A tragic end to this fiery crash. You watched it unfold on Good Morning Indiana. <clears throat> Excuse me. As Skycam 6 flew over that scene, another driver spotted the flames and he jumped in to pull that man from inside the truck. Tonight, RTV6's Derek Thomas talked to the Good Samaritan about why he decided to put his life on the line. The Good Samaritan was in a route to Nashville, Indiana, when the crash occurred. He knew he had to do whatever he could to try to save the driver. The crash and fire lit up the early morning sky. It occurred in Johnson County at the 93 mile marker. 55 year old Brian Corns fought through the flames and heat to get to the cab of the truck in the rescue attempt. My only focus was looking at this guy, and he was coming out of this truck upside down. I was trying to help him get away from this before it got out of control. And was there, was there explosion? The tires started exploding, yeah. Corn said the driver weighed about 300 pounds and was covered in liquid protein, the load that the truck had been carrying that had spilled all over the place. That made it even more difficult to pull the large man to safety. These are Corn's clothes that are covered with that same substance. Police call him a hero for his extraordinary rescue effort. From Skycam, you can see them talking to him along the side of the road. He didn't have to do what he did. He was there long before the first responders could get there, the people whose job it is to do things like that, the firefighters and the paramedics, and he chose to do that willingly, and absolutely a noble gesture should be recognized for it. But Corns downplayed that praise. Wouldn't you do that if you were in my shoes? I would try. Would you, cameraman, would you do that if you were in my shoes? Every, anybody would, you know. It, there's a certain value in human life, isn't there? We have learned that the victim's dog who was riding with them was found alive inside the sleeper part of the truck. The truck driver died later at the hospital. Corn says he loves traveling the open road, but he's very disappointed the truck driver did not survive. Derek Thomas, RTV6. And that truck driver has now been identified as 52-year-old Tyrone McKinney of Quinby, South Carolina. Police do not know why the truck veered off the road and crashed, but there were no skid marks.